Hello everyone, and welcome back to yet again another video on Kyler's Toys, Games, and More. And today, as you saw from the title, uh, we will be reviewing uh, my new Shovel Knight uh, plushies that came in. Uh, so yeah, uh, this is a part of the springtime plush collection. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. No, they're not my first. I have a Roxanne plush I'm gonna customize, so... Yeah. Anyway, welcome to, back to another video on college toys, games, and more. Today we will be, um, obviously from the title, you know, unboxing or and reviewing the Shovel Knight plushies I got in the, uh, mail. And I got them from YachtClubGames.com, by the way. Um, and yes, they're still available. So, anyways, let's get this thing opened up. This was from today. Literally, just showed up on my doorstep when my like about when my parents came home. So, yeah. All right, let's get a good old shovel line out of the package first. We have Black Knight there as well. And oh man, look at this guy! Look at him! Look at him! Camera, I said, look at him! Look at this him! him. Look at him! Look at this dude! He's so big! He's so big! Look at him! What's that? It's got like a thing in there. I don't know, but anyways, this is cool. This is actually a cool package. I like this package. Um, because it has Shovel Knight Treasure Trove on it. It says Tr Shovel Knight Treasure Trove on it, and Yacht Club Games and Symbiote Studios or Symbiote Studios, Symbiote um, Studios on it. And uh, yeah, so. Let's get this guy opened up. Uh, wherever the uh, thing is. Um, ah, here it is. <laughs> Unless that's not the opening. Um, ah, I think this might be. Oh, I don't want to open it there! Okay, yeah, this was the opening. I don't want to rip the package open because it's a cool package. Alright, let's get this guy out. It's a pen. Save those for later. Well, it did say Shovel Knight Flush and... So, Alright, let's see what's in this thing. What the? Okay, so I wonder if that's... In DLC code. Huh. What the heck is Rivals of Aether? Maybe it's gonna be the next game. Mm -mm. Or maybe it's gonna be the next game. No, wait! Maybe it is. Um, look at that. That looks like a grassy, um, plains back in there. Focus. 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 Oh my gosh, it's not focusing. Dang it. I'm gonna get you at the, out of the background, so... Oh, he lost his shovel. Anyways, this is the card. Skin DLC cold, but... Um... It does look kind of like... Um... Trees in the background. Can you look up what Rivals of Aether is? 
Anyways, that's cool. Get a gold, gold Shovel Knight thing. DLC thing or whatever. Alright, so... He's got his... Little, uh... Crotch protector here. An indie platform fighter game created by Van Hmm? Oh, okay. And not a cool reception. Da -da -da. Okay. Anyways, back to this. Um, so yeah, this is Shovel Knight. He's got, um, his little crotch protector there. Um, oh, the crotch the, uh, uh, um, bottom pads or whatever, uh, whatever they are. Um, knee protectors. Um, he's got his little arms that can kind of move. Um, compared to the new Shovel Knight plush that comes with, you know, the game for the Nintendo Switch, um, I like this one better because it's bigger and it's better quality. Personally, I think, actually, they made the other one smaller, so it's like female Shovel Knight. I don't know. But the other one doesn't have as good quality as this one because this one is actually a lot very accurate. Um, so if I can put a picture up on the screen, I will. Um, he's got his horns here, his little helmet. Oh, hey, his little hat. It's a helmet. Right out. Well, off I go then. Hat in a in a uh, what's his name? Hat uh hat uh person. Mr. Hat. Um tries to Mr. Shelton, like, take his take his take his helmet. That is right, it was a helmet, not a hat. And then yeah, you know, they got a little tag in the back. Um, his, uh, shoulder, uh, protect, or his, yeah, shoulder, protect, no. Well, he does have those shoulder pads, obviously. Um, but he also has the, um, elbow protectors, protection. And, uh, let's see if he can stand up. It's on a bed, so I think he might be able to. against the pillow, he might be able to. can technically and not stand up, but let's look at his shovel. It's a little flimsy, but that's okay. Because, you know, it came in a package, and it's expected with another character. It's um, a flush shovel. Yeah, and it's a flush shovel. But, if you see this thing in the back, then, put it on magnet, and we can put an on old Shovel Knight there. And there's his shovel on his back. But, I think we can also do something else with it. Yep. That. Or I think it's a bit big. True. I think it's a bit big though. See the height he gets when he bounces on an enemy with that shell? That's gotta have some serious pogo in there. I guess we'll do that. Yeah. That. Anyways, it has a magnet and it's magnetized. His hands are magnetized to it, and yeah, so this is a magnetized shovel. 
really cool, and I like that detail to it. Unlike, you know, um, probably the new plush, which actually just has it on the back, probably. I don't know if the new plush has it just on the back, or if it can come off. So, yeah, this is Shovel Knight. Next up, we have the elusive and mysterious Black Knight. Because, uh, and he, I, I, again, it's the same package. Yeah. I've got a lot of information on it. Sadly. Oh, okay, his shovel also comes off. Yep. Alright. Look at this guy. He's so cool. He's edgy. He's edgy looking. One thing they didn't put on. He has three stripes. Or three of these on his shoulder pads. Like, he has three uh, red stripes on his shoulder pads. So, it's not exactly that as accurate. But, he does look really cool. Ah! Yes. So this is what Shovel Knight is supposed to look like. And they definitely got him correct. Let's see if we can find Black Knight on here. Black Knight is in the background. Oh, never mind. He doesn't have... He doesn't have two shoulder pads. Or, uh, yeah. Well, he... Yes. Somewhere. There's another stripe under me. Oh, we didn't look at the back. There we go. This is a uh, tag, and then his armor it looks really cool. I really like his armor, and he's got that mad expression on him. Cause he always looks mad. He did his helmet like that for a reason, I guess. I don't know. But, he is elusive because him and uh, Shovel Knight apparently adventured together or did stuff together. They... I really don't know. No one knows. No one knows. He's also connected to um, he's also connected to um, the also mysterious Polar Knight, Origins Unknown. Well, Actually, yes and no, because he worked with him, and he also, he also knew Polar Knight as well, and they know each other. Hello! And here is his shovel, which is a bit more flimsy than his, but it still looks really cool. And, um, it's pointy. I have no idea. I'm bad at reviews. But I really like the detail on the, um, the flush and the, uh, colors and how accurate it is to the game. Unfortunately, though, one thing I am noticing they didn't make his, uh, horns as accurate as they would in the game. They didn't make it, like, pointed out and then straight up. They made it kind of like, you know, Shovel Knight form, like, the exact same. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, um, on this one I do not feel a magnet. I don't know where the magnet is. Oh, wait. It's gotta be in there. It's gotta be, yeah. Oh, it's on the back, okay. Let's 
steal thy butt. If you know what that reference is. Because they took a little too far. They took the floating stuff a little too far. Now let's see. I don't know. Oh, there it is. There we go. It attaches. Right there. There we go. And this is Black Knight. Not least, we have the Enchantress. Uh, I really like the detail on the, um, like, I, they don't even show that in the back there, but, um, like in the game. But I think she has that. But it kind of, like, the, how I did this kind of gives the optical illusion of, like, you know, the, uh, the robe going up in the back spread it out a little like that see but I like how they did that um also got the uh, thing there and the gem the our fake gem or whatever it's called I forget what it's called um this, this here is the robe the robing stuff and uh, it also got the shoveling logo tag on it. And, oh, yeah, we got a pin as well. Um, Black Knight. Yeah, he did. Black Knight also came with a pin. Hard to see, though. Alright. Um, should I open these? Probably not. I can't really do anything about this. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's the black knight. Um, uh, yeah. That's the black knight, um, in. Here is the Enchantress pin. Yeah. Um, where did I put the Hold on. And then here is the Shuffle Knight pin. Very nice. Three of the pins together. And that is the Shovel Knight plushies. And thing right there, the pin. One, two, and Alright. So that was the Shovel Knight plushie stuff. I don't like bad jokes in the channel. I can't really see the plushie. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Black Knight just... Gosh dang, hold it. Oh my gosh. Okay, anyways, yeah, that's the Shovel Knight plushies I got. Hopefully, I'm going to be getting Shield Knight as well. Um, so, hopefully, you guys, uh, and the, now, and now that this video comes to a close, and I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye, everyone!